Okay, hello YouTube folks. Uh, I know many of you uh, that watch the videos uh, understood that I was done for the season, but uh, being the extreme guy that I am, I figured I would uh, indicate some extreme issues I'm having. Number one, ice. Okay, uh, the temperatures here in the evening have been getting down to 7, I believe last night was 4 degrees, uh, daytime temperatures um, to the high 20s. Today is supposed to make it to 40 degrees, but even with 40 degrees, I don't anticipate it thawing the beds so or the ice. What can I show you here? That's not going to show. Here, let me show you over here. Everything is frozen solid. The fish, up until the day before yesterday, there was no ice. I could see them with a flashlight at night because at the colder temperatures, they don't move. Their metabolism is so slow, they were barely moving their tails. And they were all lined up like little soldiers or pawns on a chessboard, just barely marking time with the, with just a little bit of movement on their tail. So, this would be two weeks they've not eaten and there was uh, absolutely no ice on the top of it. I came out yesterday morning uh, and ice had formed a thin sheet. Today I come out a second day of very cold temperatures and it looks like we're talking about maybe three, maybe two and a half inches of ice on top. As you can see where there's water movement, we have no freezing. So the return line over there the pressure relief uh, a hole that I have in the uh, supply line or pump line um, and where the air is. I have uh, gotten a good friend of mine to come and pick me up. We are going to go to, because this is the United States, Tractor Supply. As today is, uh, as today it is noon right now and we, I don't anticipate us making the 40 degrees. Since this has only been two days and this is the result, we're going to go and pick up a $50 pond warmer or de-icer um, just because I'm afraid that if, as long as we have circulation, I don't believe that temperatures below freezing are an issue for the fish. Clearly they're still under there uh, because I'm estimating, oh feel that. Wow, this is hard. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, I did not anticipate the side walls of this being hard. This is hard like frozen. So it's very possible that the fish have moved off the walls where they usually hang and are now where there's still fluid water. Okay, well that's about all I have. Um, the beds are frozen solid. Uh, this has been two days of sub-zero cold and finally I'm going to go to the tractor supply to pick up a 1500 watt or, or 1250 watt 110 volt de-icer. Um, it's like an upgrade from the cattle or horse trough icer, de-icers. So this thing floats and hopefully it'll keep the pond from going any any further. It has an automatic shut off from uh, 45 degrees it shuts off. Uh, when you drop below 35 degrees it turns on. So <clears throat> I'm going to go and get that and hopefully that saves us. Hopefully uh, I hopefully I've not killed them. Uh, who knows. Uh, close to 300 pounds of fish in here would be quite a loss uh, especially of the work effort and time that and hassle I've given people to uh, make this happen. So I appreciate your time and I would have not entered this uh, video this time of the year because nothing's going on but since uh, I'm an extreme guy and these look like extreme conditions the Australian folks will appreciate this um, for the breed of fish as well I'm sure uh, Americans will enjoy it also. Uh, the fish are extreme they were up a good yesterday or day before yesterday and if this pool is not 100 percent frozen solid which we think it isn't based on the water flow we're seeing uh, even though reduced as it is 
um, I think they're okay. So we're going to go and get the warmer now, and I will um, give an update to let you know how this has uh, transpired with regard to knocking off this cold, uh, because tonight's going to be sub-zero also. So uh, sub-zero at night, and then uh, a, te a tepid 40 degrees warm-up during the day, which I don't believe is going to make. It's 28 degrees now, and it's noon. So we're not going to get the 48 degrees they said. Certainly, it's not going to um, thaw any of this ice on here. Uh, so I'm off to uh, to use uh, the electric company to uh, to save the fish. Okay, thanks.